If you enjoy exercising with me, you may like to know about these other exercise tapes I've made with BBC Video. Apart from the other titles in the Top to Toe series, there's my Whole Body Programme, Whole Body Programme 2, Seven Day Workout, and the BBC Pregnancy and Postnatal Exercise Video. So whatever your reason for wanting to exercise, I'm sure there's something to suit you. Hello and welcome to this video from my Top to Toe collection which I've specifically designed to improve your bust line and the overall shape and posture of the upper body. It's important to realise that there aren't any muscles in the breasts themselves but by strengthening the muscles that surround the chest area we can dramatically improve the body's natural bra. If you want to see these muscles in action do this exercise in front of a mirror sometime when you're not wearing any clothes and just squeeze and actually see the muscles working around here. In this video I've included some exercises for the upper back and shoulders which are essential for correct posture and we'll also be improving the muscle tone of the upper arms to try and get rid of any flabby bits. But before we begin our workout I'd like you to have handy a firm cushion like this one, or better still, a ball like this one. And finally, don't worry if you can't complete all the exercises the first few times. If your muscles are really tired and you feel you've done enough, just fast forward the tape to the stretch section at the very end of the tape. Remember, it's essential to stretch the muscles we've been working, and as you continue to progress, you'll find that you can complete the whole programme. Well, let's get started and march it out. Tummy pulled in. And we're going to walk forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Swing the arms. And back. And again. And back. Last time. Now, on the spot, hand roll the shoulders. Just touch one foot to the other. Now bows and arrows, feet apart, and pull this elbow back. Six, seven, eight. Now kick behind, pull the drawers out with your hands. Two more. Now double ones. Two, one, two, and again. We're going to walk forward again. One, two, three, four, back. Forward and back and again and back last time back. now stepping again bigger shoulders really move that arm and bows and arrows really pull it back imagine you've really got a bow and arrow in your hands two more now knee lifts, press down, press, now double ones, one, two, press down, one, two, two, now squat, down, tuck your bottom under, down, 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 knees go over the feet, two. now round, round, Keep your shoulders still as you do it. Just move the hips. Round, down, down, round, round, down, down, round, round. Now side bends. Down. Keep your bottom tucked under as you do it. Make sure you curve, not twist. Two more. And we're going to march on the spot. Here we go. And Go forward, one, two, three, four, back, two, three, forward, two, three, four, back, two, three, again, last time, one, two, back, two, 
Now just big circles with the arms. Round, 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 round. Now bows and arrows to the end. Really pull that arm back. And relax, well done. Now bring your feet together and we're going to bend our knees and roll our hands. Now, step. Keep this foot fairly anchored onto the floor. Take your hands onto your hips. Now, go into a breaststroke. Round. Round. Back to the centre. Down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to the other side. And step across. Hands on your hips. And forward. One more, and then we're going to breaststroke again. Round, and round, round. Last one, centre. Down, down. Tuck your bottom under when you do this. Get ready to go to the other side again. So forward. Now lift this foot slightly this time. There we go. Now breaststroke. Slightly bigger than last time. And we pulled in all the time. Nice big movement with the arms. Centre. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And last one to the other side. Round. And bring this foot up a bit more. Down. And up. Now arms. Nice and big breaststroke. Round. Last one. Centre. Down. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and other side. Now lift this leg a bit more this time. One more. Then we're going to breaststroke even higher. Rounds and rounds. Round. When you're reaching up, last one. Centre. Down, 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 down. Tummy pulled in all the time. Other side. Across. Now bring this leg up a bit more, up, up, one more, then big breath strokes, round, lovely big circle, round, centre, down, two, three, four. Now take your feet comfortably apart and do a lovely big circle with your hands, a really lovely stretch, it feels really good to do this, come down, and then take your hands forward. Just push your hands forward and feel the stretch across your back. It feels wonderful. And relax. Now take your hands behind and extend them behind you as far as you can, as high as you can. Don't slump forward. And feel the stretch across your chest and rest. Now bring your arm across and ease the arm across you. Don't hold on to the elbow bony bit, hold on to the fleshy bit. So ease it across. Hold it there and rest. Now come up with the shoulders towards your ears and then ease your shoulders down as far as they'll go. And then hand on your hip, bring your hand up and aim your hand towards the corner of the room. Feel the stretch all the way down here. Come up, other side, and just gently over, reaching across. Feel the stretch. It feels delightful. And relax. Well done. Now we're going to do an exercise that really tones up the bust line. So start off with your feet apart and just get into the movement by taking your feet across. Across and across and across. Last one. Now we're going to bring an arm in. Across. Now try and keep the elbow at shoulder level and really put some force into it. Then really squeeze and push and squeeze. Elbow at shoulder level. Put lots of effort. Now both together. Squeeze. Bend the knees and squeeze. Bring the elbows in together. They should be meeting in the centre. And squeeze. Bottom tucked under. Squeeze. Two more. And now we're going down. And down. Squeeze across you. 
down. And down. And down. Two more. Really put every effort in. Now both together and squeeze down. Elbows in towards your side. And actually bring your elbows so they touch. Squeeze. It's a lot of effort, but it's worth it. Really use those muscles. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now go across at shoulder level. And across. Can you imagine actually trying to push something out of the way. And push. 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 And push. Both together at shoulder level. Bring the elbows in together. The meets and touch. And squeeze. Bottom tucked under. Squeeze. 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 Now take it down and squeeze. Really put the effort in. The effort will pay off. You'll have a lovely, naturally supported bust line if you carry on doing these. And down. Last one. Both together. Down. Down. Bring the elbows together. It's very tempting to forget and just bring them in, but they must touch. And squeeze. And squeeze. Squeeze. Now take it across at shoulder level. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Both together, and imagine you're squeezing all the air out of the ball. So squeeze every bit of air that you can. Really put some effort into it. Bottom tucked under all the while, of course. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. And go down. Down. And down. Bring the elbow across you. And down. And squeeze. And squeeze. It's really quite hard work. Squeeze and squeeze both together and in. In and squeeze. Squeeze, elbows touch of course. Squeeze. Squeeze. So imagine the good that's being done to you now. So carry on and at shoulder level, we nearly finished. And across and across and across and push. Squeeze and push across and across and across. Well done. And now we're going to go onto the floor for some floor exercises. Sit on a mat or if you're on a carpet, then obviously you don't need one. Sit cross-legged. Now I want you to imagine that you've actually attached your elbows to your side. Palms facing upward and thumbs out, making a fist. Now we're going to rotate our shoulders back. So round and round and round just imagine there's the safety pin attaching your elbows to your side so you really can't move them away and do this rotation movement and back and back it's giving you a nice strong upper back this exercise which is important for our posture and if we're going to work hard to have a nice bust line, then obviously having a good posture is all important. And round. One more time. And round. Now, you're going to need a firm cushion or a ball. So lie down on the floor and place the ball between your elbows and raise your elbows up so that your elbows are above your shoulder line. And we're going to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze now this is working the muscle the main muscle that we want to work when we want a better bust line so this is an all-important exercise and as I say if you haven't got a ball then use a firm cushion and that will do the job it's just that you need something to resist against to make sure that that muscle really works a little bit harder and really squeeze, pull your tummy in and your spine right down into the floor with every squeeze that you make. So squeeze, 
It should be quite hard work. And relax. And sit up. We don't need the ball anymore. And I'm going to use a couple of weights for these arm exercises, but a couple of cans of baked beans would do the job just as well. So bring the arm up. Now, the important thing here is to, again, imagine that your arm is attached to your side. It's really important to keep this position here, bringing up straight in front of you. And this is actually working the fronts of the arms, which helps us to have stronger arms for everyday life, like carrying the shopping and things like that. So bring them up, a quite definite move. Just one more each arm. Now bring your arms up here, and we're going to take the weights behind us, so out, out. Elbows back as far as you can, and straighten the arm out. And this is working, that horrible bit at the back of the arm, which often gets so flabby with women. It's not fair, it doesn't seem to happen with men. But just straighten the arm out and feel the muscle at the back of the arm as we shorten it by taking the weight backwards. And back. One more with each arm. Now, come forward and forward. Now, again, remember to fasten your elbows to the side of your body and bring that weight up and up and up. Sit up as straight as you can. That's a bit of an exercise in itself. And bring it up. Feel the muscle in front of your arm working as you raise the weight. Using something like a baked beans can is really a very useful way of making this exercise even more effective. Carry on. One more with each hand. And we're going back again. Bring the weights up here, elbows back. Out, out, out. And remember to take it straight back and not out to the side. Back, 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 back. The more you do it, the more you can actually feel it at the back of your arm. And rest. Well done. Move your weights completely out of the way and lie down on your tummy. Now, we want the body to be in a completely straight line and take your arms straight ahead of you. Now, what we're going to do here is raise alternate arms, but we're just going to raise it to just above head level. That's all. Okay, here we go. Up, down down. This is an exercise for the shoulders. And up, down, up, down. Raise. Make sure you keep your hips flat on the floor and don't actually tilt your body to one side too much. Keep it nice and straight. Just raising your hands not too far. Up. If you can't do too many, just start off with one or two and gradually as you get stronger, you'll be able to do more. Two more. One, two, that's it. Now take your elbows out to the side. And your elbows should be level with your shoulders. Now I want you to bring your hands up, chin on the floor, this is quite difficult, but I want you to try and get your shoulder blades together behind you. And so bring your arms your elbows and your hands as far back as you can. So back. Now this is for the upper back. It's a good exercise. It gives us a stronger back and it helps us with our general sort of line around our upper body. So it's an important one. Down, up. It's hard work, so only do as many as you can. I don't expect you to do them all first time. Up. And remember, try and bring those hands back as far as you can. And two more. 
and rest. Now we're going to roll over onto our back. Now we're going to do an exercise for our chest again. So knees bent, tummy pulled right in, back nice and flat. Now place your elbows together, hands straight ahead, and your elbows should be above your shoulders. Now what I want you to do is imagine you're actually bell ringing. So imagine you're pulling some bells and this is the movement. It's coming from there to there. This is where the work is being done. And squeeze and pull down. And take them as high as you can. Keep the arms as parallel with the floor as you can. And you'll be able to feel, I know I can, feel the muscle across your chest working as you do this and pull down, pull down, pull, pull, couple more, down, and last one, and then rest and sit up, sit with your legs crossed, and we're going to do some nice stretches now just to finish, so bring your arm across, just ease it, and relax, and the other one, hold on to the fleshy bit, not the elbow, just ease it across, just ease this over, and rest. Take your hands forward and press your hands out, so you're stretching your back, and then take your hands behind and stretch out your chest, it's a lovely feeling, and down, up to your ears with your shoulders and press down and really press those shoulders down towards the floor hold it there and relax well that's the end of this workout and if you do these exercises regularly you really will see the benefits now also take the time and trouble to have yourself properly measured for a correctly fitting bra it'll make all the difference so till the next time, goodbye.